Hi, it's Therese in Lost in Paper and I'm very excited to be here as part of Alter News November 2017 release and I'm going to be using this Golden Feather stamp set. It's a layering stamp set and it has some really sort of funky layers that you can add to the feathers but I'm actually only going to be using the outline images today. I want three feathers in total but I'm only using two of the images so I stamp one of them out twice. I'm on some Bristol Smooth cardstock and just using some embossing ink and then I can just add, this is the antique gold embossing powder. It's really pretty gold powder this. I, I love the embossing powders, like they, you get so much bang for your buck with an embossing powder, you can do so much with them and I thought this would be really um, fun to have the golden background and and sort of do a watercolour emboss resist technique. I love the way it all gets nice and shiny when you heat it up. I decided to do my watercolouring today with the Zig Clean Colour brush pens and I use a total of three colours. Now I have come in with the, this is a lighter, it's actually an looks like an orange color but it's called bright yellow and I'm just using the color direct to the paper almost like a marker and sort of making sure to get it because this is a really fine sort of deep there's some fine detail on these feathers so just making sure to add plenty of color because I want this to be nice and bright and making sure that I get it in between the embossed details of the feather as well I'm adding the orange color to the outside sort of edges of the leaf just to make it look a little bit darker and to add some of the wow factor I do end up coming in and adding a nice hot pink color it's called um, it's just the color pink in the, the Zig Clean color markers but it's a really nice bright one so the water just helps get the color into the fine sort of embossing details and I found that if there was a little bit too much color or a little bit too much water I could just come in and sort of pat the excess away with a um, just a kitchen towel. How cool is this pink? Or well, how bright is this pink I should say. It's really pretty. And I color all three of my feathers pretty much exactly the same. I just thought I'd show you the coloring of one feather only because <laughs> they are all my, pretty much the same. So of course because this is part of a blog hop and a release there are going to be lots of giveaways and heaps of inspiration as usual. Uh, we'll put the links to my blog in the description down below so if you click through that link you can get to my blog and find out how you're able to win some gift certificates to alter new and don't forget to do that because they're very generous and they always have lots of beautiful products and it's always nice to get a little treat. So if you're here in November 2017, head through the link to my blog and you can find heaps of inspiration. The team are amazing. They always come up with such great ideas and I've also got another card that I'm sharing over at my blog uh, using another set from... Oh, couple of sets actually from the same release and there's lots of sort of scrapbooking stuff as well as stamps and dies that um, are good for both card makers and scrapbookers in this release all right so I'm just lining up the matching dies here there are three dies that coordinate with this stamp set three the three different feathers and I'll just run that through my die cutting machine until I got all my three feathers done I have a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock. It's cut the same size as my card front. I have a real issue with changing up my white cards. I get really, even though this cardstock is a nice bright white, it's still not quite as bright as the white that I use on my card bases. So if you weren't as weird as me about it, you could simply just add this um, stencil splatter directly to your card front but no I had to actually get the Bristol Smooth cardstock and do that separately 
but it makes me happy. <laughs> I have it all the same. The rest of my sentiment I'm going to heat and emboss in white and I'm just doing some selective stamping and just using some jet black cardstock and some embossing ink and just adding some white powder and hitting that with my heat tool. This is from the set called You Make Me Happy which is a mini stamp set. And don't hate me. <laughs> I'm using the bold alphabet die again. I can't help myself. Seriously. It's just such a versatile set. And I thought with the busyness of the feathers, I actually did try a different style of sentiment, just heat embossing a larger sentiment on white, um, in white. And I didn't like how it looked against the golden feathers. So the bold alphabet with some nice bright hot pink cardstock why now? And obviously, I haven't spelt it wrong, but yes, obviously it's going to be the word you. It's just the way I lined up my letters before I die cut them in the fun foam. And of course, you can't have an upside down splatter stencil because, you know, we can all tell the difference whether it's upside down or straight, <laughs> not the right way. Not really, but I had to, I had to turn it around for some reason. And then I could just use my tape runner to add the feathers directly to the front of the card. I didn't want that to be popping up too much because I have got my sentiment, which is going to be sitting off the card front, or both my sentiments are going to be sitting off the card front. And because it's actually sitting on the gold embossing, I am using my matte medium to make sure that it's adhered really well. And I like to actually add my middle letter first and make sure that's nice and straight. I am using my grid lines. I think I can't really remember. I think I used my grid lines on my um, mat, but that's what I would usually do. And then add the other letters as I go. The rest of my sentiment just popped up with some black foam squares. And that's my finished card for today. Don't forget to head to my blog and check out my other card as well as find out how you can win if you're here in November 2017. Until next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.